Okay, hi, I'm Sherman Rowland with uh, Highland Park Lapidary, and I'm going to show you how to set up your machine initially. Um, when you get it, this is a 16. We're at the Kino Gym and Mineral Show here at the Tucson Show for 2019. We thought it'd be a good time to show you how do you put your blade on your saw. It's really the first step. So you've uncrated your unit, you got it here, you've unlocked your feed drive. That's controlled by right here. This is your, your uh, feed, uh, feed handle. First thing you want to do is you want to take this nut off of the, uh, we, we ship this with a little bit of a tension to uh, keep those uh, flanges from coming loose. So what I do is I undo this little screw right here um, that's on your belt guard, pop it open here, and you're going to see your pulley, so you can just show the pulleys there. And then what, what I do is I take a wrench, I grip hold of this pulley here. I don't, I don't do this very tight. You know, at the factory, I don't make this that tight. I then loosen it up, loosen that nut up, and then undo it. I got my flange off there. So I'm ready for my blade with one exception. In order to get my blade to fit on here, I need to remove the spray guard. So I'm gonna use a Phillips screwdriver here, and I'm gonna undo this screw. Undo the screw. Take my spray guard off here. So nice working on a new saw. There is no sludge on it. Pop that off, and then we're gonna grab our blade. I'm gonna grab my little uh, my little bushing. This takes me to a 5 8 inch arbor for this 16 inch saw. Slip the bushing on there, and I'm gonna move to the other side of you. Then I'm gonna take the blade, pop the blade in here, grab my flange. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this blade, pop it up on the, the bushing, put my uh, other flange on. Now sometimes I'll use a piece of tape to hold the bushing in place. Here I can see it easily. This is a, um, uh, easy to get that in place. And now I've got my, uh, my uh, bushing in place and I'm gonna just tighten this up. You know, I generally don't use such a monster wrench, but here at the show, this is the only one I've got. Now, some people tell you not to do that, but on a green line's fine. I'm gonna, I oftentimes like to hold from the pulley. I don't need to make it super tight, but if I want to move a little bit more, I might pull the blade a te teen bit. But the big thing is you don't want to twist on the blade, you don't want to flex it, you don't want to cause any kind of bending on the blade. Now we'll go ahead and put our belt guard, our spray guard back on. You see, I'm tightening that screw back up in here. And uh, we're tightened up. Adjust my spray guard, make sure it looks good. Perfect, that looks good. And then I'll just reverse. I'm gonna close, uh, I'm gonna leave this foam in here, but you'll take the foam out, uh, close that, and you put your little wing nut on. And uh, you're ready now to, uh, um, Put a drain cap, or better yet, a ball valve on your saw, and add your oil. So if you come over here, this particular saw, I've installed a ball valve. The ball valve is essentially a big brass valve that makes it super easy to drain it. So when you close it, the handle's up. When you open it, you push the handle down, and then you can drain your saw super quick. Um, so ball valve, I recommend, you know, over just the drain cap. We do ship it with a drain cap. But a ball valve is just a lot more convenient, easy way to clean if you don't have an Everclean on your saw.